Hello guys, it's me, I'm here, and today I have some small decks or pocket pocket decks, mini decks, smaller sized decks that I want to um, unbox here with you today. So let's just jump right into it. This is C Melodies. And um, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'm sharing my spiritual path here and it's been a lot of like unboxings and flip through videos of oracle cards and tarot cards. So how to use the cards here. Whenever you need inspiration and guidance, sit in a peaceful spot and draw a card from the deck. Allow that musings and mel melodies of the mermaids to clear your sight. Take uh, solace in the legends and lore of the deep blue sea. So it doesn't like have any um, uh, guidebook or anything. And it looks like it's the same, same um, picture for all of the cards. That's a bummer. <laughs> But you have like, <clears throat> you have like a anchor, keep yourself grounded. So it's just like a short message. They're a little bit different here on this side though. It's for anchor, you actually have an anchor down there. There's a sun, I think. There's more beneath the surface. Okay, so, but they're almost the same, but some of them ha have a different uh, picture down there at the bottom, as you can see. And the box here is magnetic as well. And I think these decks here, even though I would like it to be uh, different art styles for the pictures or the cards, they are quite cute. <laughs> so that's Sea Melodies. We have another one here. The Language of Flowers. This is the same concept. It is the same kind of box that Sea Melodies has. It's not the same creator at all. Here, the language of flowers contains affirmations full of delightful words of happiness to lift you up. Discover a new way to communicate with nature. Botanical experts Sherilyn Darcy shares with you uh, 40 beautiful mini cards illustrated with vintage botanical art to gladden your heart and soul. How to use the card. Select a card each morning when you are seeking help, confirmation or inspiration or to give you a little guidance. So it's the same artwork on the backs of the card here as well. And they have the, the picture for the flower on the side here. It's, I love the, the color inside this box though. I really like that. So, words of love speak with your heart. Silence, listen more and quiet be. Calm, rest, stop and just be. Very cute. And I like that it's a black background for this. I like that. Now we don't only have uh, these boxes, <laughs> just so you know, <laughs> but we have a couple more of them. Here we have fairy dust, treasure box of fairy magic and wisdom. As above and so below, ancient fairy wisdom flows. Our pockets full of magic and dreams, we are always around unseen. 
This beautiful 40 card deck allows you to speak with the spirits of the forest and natural world, connecting your soul to messages of love, light, and helpful assistance. Tap into your intuition to find the wisdom and magic of the fairies. And there are also glitters. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> this would be so cute in my daughter's room. She would love this, I think. Inside this box, there is fairy dust to discover. When feeling down, sad or blue, in need of guidance, support or truth, lay out the cards, state your command and draw a card with your intuitive hand. Draw a card a day for inspiration or draw some for divination. Girls and boys, they work with all. Fairy guides always answer your call. That was so cute. <laughs> so here as well, all the backs are the same. The little fairy in the middle there. <laughs> and they seem to be the same here as well. So it's only the message that is different in the cards. So animal healing, no matter the creature. Um, create, create, uh, area. Hmm. My eyes suddenly, I was seeing foggy. <laughs> I hope you can read better than me now. Ah, that's better. Okay. Uh, celebrate. The time is right to shout shout out loud. Don't hesitate to jump around. Family. Wherever you go, whatever you do, your family are here for you. Huh. Uh, friends. All the love your light extends it's a reflection shows in chosen friends. So yeah, cute messages. And I think these would be nice for like someone that might be like kind of scared to in general cards. <laughs> I think then we have divine directions. These inspirational cards will enable you to find the answers you need and help guide your guide you past and any obstacles that life throws in your way. Use the cards in love and light for your benefits. Ask that you uh, be given clear and accurate information each time you choose a card. When you are ready, pick a card and give thanks. So this is the last uh, deck that is like this. Here, using the cards, use the cards whenever you need inspiration and guidance. So they kind of have the same feel. Think about an issue and yeah, so on. So on and so on. These ones also have the same arts on the, the backs. And there's no arts in the front of them. You just have the name for the card in big text. So please Recharge, please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out to look after yourself. Balance, it's time to find balance in your life. What is most important to you? Energy, try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people. Move and get up and get active. Try gentle exercise such as yoga, tai chi or pilates <laughs> yeah so nice to pull in the morning i guess think about an uh, let's see just what it says think about an issue you would like to resolve and shuffle the cards while focusing on your question alternatively you can simply ask what is the most important thing i need to know today so it's nice to put in pull in the morning then then randomly draw one or uh, one to three cards from the deck. Carefully reach, read each card that you have drawn. 
Even if it at first you don't understand it, the card you have chosen chosen will contain an important message that will enable you to move forward in your life. So that's all of these magnetic uh, boxes. So let's uh, take oh, this one. I've wanted this one for so, so, so long. I finally bought it. Uh, <laughs> It's a bit more expensive, but it is so beautiful. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, so yeah, holographic cards, shimmery tarot deck, vibrant colors. Yeah, all that. Oh, look at this. Look, look, look at this. From US games. Oh, this holographic is so pretty. It has a little guidebook here. Let's see. So here is how that looks like. Not too too much for each card, but at least it's something. All right. So the backs are not holographic. Let me find. Must be on this side. Oh, Jesus. They are so beautiful. So the sides are just plain white though. I wish like it would be some holographic on the sides as well and on the backs maybe I don't I'm not loving the uh, the backs but this this is so 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 pretty I am speechless as I said I wanted this deck for such a long time And now I finally have it. So beautiful. I'm starstruck. I am speechless. I, uh, oh, this is so beautiful. So it's just the regular right away Smith artwork, but with, with the holographic, as I said. That's that. Um, which one to take next? Let's um, take those from Los Carabeo. I have a couple of those. So for this one, this is a oh, sexual magic tarot so beware it's nudity um i wish there was some kind of cutout for the box these kind of boxes i'm not a huge fan but it's fine because they will fall out because of gravity but when the cards isn't inside these boxes um then it's harder to to open them so it's a little bit here in in the guidebook and several languages And does it have, yeah. Where is it? There. Let's just do like that. All right, so I have a couple of these boxes from before. And I can see this one also has like the little white border around when the cards are this small. I don't think there should be a white border around, but I was expecting it to be, but I wanted to check this out either way. Oops. <laughs> 
Okay, so that is sexual magic tarot. Let's continue. Let's take the the other Los Scarabeo deck. We have Tarot of Pagan Cats. And again, this doesn't have a finger cut out either. And these boxes are, um, or guidebooks for these ones, are all in different languages in all of them. So we just have a short uh, sentence for, for each card. So it's a sentence instead of keywords. Do the top instead, I guess. Ugh. There we go. So, yeah, as I, I expected, there is the white border on these ones as well. kind of don't mind it with this actually somehow don't feel like the the artwork is too small yeah it kind of works very cute cats though <laughs> oh so for a cat lover oh Poor thing has a bandage on his paw and everything. Oh, okay, this is actually quite cute. <laughs> I didn't think I would think it was this cute. Hmm. So yeah, for any any cat lovers, uh, I guess this deck here is a must. Very cute. And let's take the next world tarot. It doesn't have like a name on the side or anything, but it's kind of cool that it's just black. But I think it should be a uh, name on the side as well for when you store it in a bookshelf with other decks. Quite a cute guidebook here. Huh. I actually like this shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. But it wasn't any content list or anything because they don't even have page number. That's weird. Anyways, the cards here. So this one is like more of a modern deck. Kind of, oh, nudity. Kind of like a futuristic deck as well. Kind of. It is uh, 
diverse in size and colors. Maybe not as much in age. But you know, these people, they look like normal people. They're not like beautified. Oh, she even have hair on, on her legs. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of cool. I guess. So yeah. Absolutely. Very modern. I like the, the guidebook going this side as well. That doesn't work. And I think it's pretty. The box is pretty. Mm, let's take this one. The Morgan Greer Tarot in a tin. shouldn't have used the knife there. I think that was me doing that. Oopsie doopsie. So the cards aren't as big as the box. Let's see. A small introduction. And then we go right into the cards. We even have like a small reversed pour. Mm -hmm. But it's not a whole lot, though. It's more like keyword uh, feel to them here. The cards. Uh, these are borderless. This kind of looks like my dad when he was younger. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Kind of a 70s vibe to it somehow. I don't know why I feel that. Maybe it's the mustache <laughs> on the magician that makes me <laughs> feel that. But yeah, I like these. These are borderless and everything. And it's a nice size to them, even though they are not the full like tarot size. It's a nice size to these ones. I like it. All right. And then... Oh. Let's open this one here as well. Let's do like this. Here we have Universal Weights Pocket Tarot Deck. Actually, got a little bit of the box there as well. Opens up on the top here. Introduction. And here we have keywords for the uh, the cards. <laughs> yep. Anyway, some of them have like sentences as well. Look, 
kind of feel like more gray on the sides probably because of blue backings which is reversible yeah so it is the right away smith with the They kind of feel very matte, like the artwork feels matte. I feel like it's been colored with like regular, <laughs> regular, uh, colors like you know the ones that kids draw with huh I don't know how I feel about these cards like a part of me likes it and a part of me don't huh but I like the size of them because they're not as small as these ones, right? These ones are just a tad bigger. Let me double check that. Yeah, they're a bit bigger. Oops. So yeah, that was actually all of the decks that I bought. All of the mini pocket size uh, tarot in the tin <laughs> decks that I bought for this time. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did I hope you will give me a like down below. Give the, the like button a good hug. <laughs> Take a little bit. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content tap the bell if you want to be notified every time i upload a new video and i hope to see you again that's it for today i hope you have a wonderful beautiful and magical day bye